guys, what's going on? It's Andy Elliott. I'm here today with the guy that is dressed to the hilt because he's Max and he's always maxed out. He takes his uh, job, his life, his career very seriously. He's very actually a very fun guy, super cool. But man, he's got this badass culture. You guys have seen my Elliott Army culture. You see how I roll. You see how much fun we have. You see how we kick ass. You see how much money um, that we like to make. But really, you just see that, you know, like life is serious, but also it's a lot of fun. And I just think that cultures have just gone down the toilet, like everywhere. Like people don't have like careers anymore. They just have jobs right. and they act like they have a job. This guy's building careers for people all around the world um, to make a lot of money, have a lot of fun, you know, build their families up and do just honestly, like just become elite and dominate. And um, anyways, I love what you do. I'm going to let him explain, you know, a little bit about who Max is, you know, um, where he's at, what, what, what he's doing for a living, you know, how, how you make your team a lot of money, what the culture's like. Uh, he's got a lot of energies just like me. And um, he's just a normal person that decided to kick some ass. And so since he's kicking ass and he woke up, now he's finding other people who want to wake up and kick ass with him. Okay. So it's amazing. This is going to be a really cool podcast. And if you love him and you fall in love with him, you're like, dude, I really like this guy. Well, man, maybe you join his team and kick ass. That's what this is all about. So anything that I have, that's a, a really cool resource. I just want to share it with you guys. So Max, I appreciate you, brother. I mean that you're a savage. And uh, let's roll. It's all let's yours. go, Andy. Thank you so much for the introduction, man. It's a pleasure to be out here in Scottsdale with you guys and really looking forward to the episode and just getting to talk and collaborate and mm -hmm. have synergy, you know, between your industry, my industry and, you know, providing value for our viewers out there at the end of the day. So to get to know me a little bit better, I have a background in hospitality. Mm -hmm. Five years ago, I was a bartender with a limited mindset. I wasn't looking for growth. I wasn't looking for change. I wasn't looking for challenge. I wasn't looking for opportunity. I was kind of just comfortable. That word is a dream killer. Mm -hmm. And that's where I was at five years ago when I was attending bar. Fortunately, I met a group of sales leaders that saw something in me and started to believe in me even before I believed in myself. How old were you? I was 30 years old. Mm -hmm. I was a 30 year old bartender, man. No, I get it. I Stuck love it. in a fucking matrix. Yep. And I wasn't even looking to be more. I was just comfortable. And once these people looked at me and saw something that they thought I could be an asset to their team or I had something more to pull out of myself that they were going to help me do, I came in and I heard about their company and I was skeptical, just like anything, commission only, sales. You know, it's, I've never sold anything in my life except steaks and martinis over my bar, man. That was the extent of my sales experience. Didn't know anything about, you know, the field I've been in now, but I took a chance and to get outside of my box. So many people live in this, this, this box that's safe and they don't, you know, they want to tip their toe in something, but not just dive into it. Mm -hmm. And I decided it's time for a change. And I got outside of the hospitality industry. I got started in the healthcare space in health insurance and developed as a sales agent really got obsessed, really got obsessed with helping clients, with earning, with the culture that was there mm -hmm. and decided, you know, I want to grow my own agency. Stepped into leadership after two years. I was earning seven figures in two years as a producer. Good. Let's talk about that for a minute. Yeah. Bartending. Yeah. Um, you know, you're showing up to work, you're taking care of people, you're yeah. being really nice and you know, you're probably making, you know, a little bit of money. Some nights were better than others. Yeah. And then you, you go and these people sell you this dream, yeah. right? You're thinking, hey, do I believe in this? And really it's not, do I believe in this? Like, do you believe in you? Right, exactly. Right? And, and so you decided to believe in you. The opportunity is real because right. you have it now and right. other people are getting it and it's real. Right. So basically if anybody just believes in themselves, the blueprint that you have works for them. It does. It really does. And two years for seven figures, that's, that's awesome. And I bet you've learned how to get people there quicker now. Yeah. That's the thing. It's like collapsing time. Every new generation of agents and leaders, it's more of a streamlined process for mm -hmm. because we've gone through making the mistakes. Mm -hmm. We've gone through learning these different aspects of the business. And I have an athletic background. I grew up in competitive athlete, scholar athlete, basketball, football, baseball, across track and field. I played at a collegiate level. So I had that discipline, consistency, work ethic, mindset instilled in myself from an early age. Mm -hmm. The hospitality aspect of things was more 
the active listening, the catering to other people's needs, the customer service, mm -hmm. the way you're making people feel. We work for gratuity, right? At the end of the day. So making people feel a certain way is the secret to it is. life. It is. And communication, mm -hmm. being able to listen, be able to be attentive to all different types of clientele. Mm -hmm. Everybody's and, uh, different. You're right. So yeah. learning from the hospitality background and then the athletics, I feel has what helped shape my sales leadership in terms of where I'm at in my current career. Yeah, this needs to be called from bartender to seven figures. That's it, man. Or, or it may be eight by now, yeah, but let's just yeah, say seven. Exactly, right? exactly. Um, so you do this thing, you get into leadership. Right. Two years in, what happens? Two years in, I get into leadership. I start my agency with one agent, just me. Mm -hmm. My first three agents I recruited were bartenders from that restaurant that I wanted to give an opportunity to. Unfortunately, they had a little success in the beginning, but nobody worked out. They were still in that mindset of not, even though we gave them the blueprint and it's there, not betting on themselves and going back to that safety net, mm -hmm. that safety zone. So it's definitely started even slowly building the agency. But over the last three and a half years now, I'm five years into the career, we're up to 270 sales agents, guys and girls. That's great. And you know, on the journey, I've learned a lot. We've developed 17 leaders, mm -hmm. you know, and as a servant leader, I really feel like our purpose is developing other leaders. That's a fact. And helping bring out the best in other people and helping them think bigger and, and maximize their potential, stepping in their true power, mm -hmm. becoming the best version of themselves that they may not even think they're capable of when you meet them. Yep. But you can see different intangibles in people where you believe. Mm -hmm and you invest in them, you bet on them, you bring them into your community. People wanna be a part of something, man. Hey guys, sorry for interrupting the video. As you're listening to my man Max here with Maxed Out, you're hearing about this opportunity to make a lot of money. If that's you that wants to make a lot of money and you're a fire-breathing dragon and you've been waiting on your way out and for your opportunity, this is it. You guys see this number below? All you gotta do is send a text message and send your email address, that's it. Type your email address right, okay? All you gotta do is send your email address and it'll send you information about this badass opportunity. That's it. So let's get back to the video. Let's kill it. Mm -hmm. And what I've really worked hard to build with the help of my leadership, because I'm definitely not gonna take all the credit, I would be nowhere near where I'm at without the help of my partners. Fact, you need people. You need people, man. You need build to build anything great, you need people. You can always go much further as a team, as a unit, than you can as an individual. And I preach that, and we really buy into that and, and collaborate and share ideas and don't have a scarcity mindset. We live with an abundant mindset. And, you know, now that we've established this blueprint, you know, we're in an industry that every single human being in America needs. Mm -hmm. Private health insurance. The most millionaires in American history, excuse me, were built in the financial services industry. That's right. The most millionaires in American history were built in the financial services industry. Yeah. So this is a recession-proof industry. It's not going anywhere. We actually provide value to the clients too. They need access to more physicians. Mm -hmm. They need better coverage. They need more, and we actually specialize in medically underwritten coverage where if someone has a little bit better health, they don't have a bunch of meds and pre-existing issues, they qualify for a better product at a lower cost. Now, no one wants to talk about insurance, but if I have a solution where you can get a better product with more robust benefits and pay less money for it, then it's worth hearing about. And it can be a tax write-off, all small business owners, anyone self-employed in America, we provide Gosh. great value to these people. Huge. So you can really feel great about what you're offering. You mm -hmm. can really believe in your product. You can ensure your parents, you can ensure your friends, your family, people in your community, because you do stand behind what you're offering. And that's mm -hmm. a great proposition to have. But then in terms of what we built as the sales force and the earning potential, seven streams of income. Your, your buddy Brad Lee talks about the RR and the headrest, right? Recurring revenue. Mm -hmm. The residual income that you create when you ethically do the right thing and put families into the right position with their coverage, they're not going anywhere. They're paying their premiums every month because you got them in the right position and the policy's working for them. And now month over month, you're earning in your sleep forever. Yeah, I call it heaven on earth. That's it. Literally, like you're helping people and then it also pays well. And a lot of the times you help people and it pays one time. 
this pays over and over again because the the service continues to go on forever. That's it. And it's like electricity. No one's ever going to run their house off candles and cancel it. (laughs) It's like health insurance. No one's going to cancel their health insurance. They always need it. And so as long as you have the best, you just keep it forever. That's it. And when you stand behind a great product and now you have a culture of hungry, coachable, ethical people, that's who we're trying to attract. Yeah, fired up, who love coming to... Who, who love doing their life, who it, love life. It, exactly. And it is a lifestyle. Yeah, it's lifestyle. more, it definitely ain't a J-O-B, a just over broke. It's even more than a career opportunity, Andy. It's a lifestyle. Mm-hmm. I bring it, we have a 27,000 square foot office. I bring in the barbers, the tailors, the nail girls, the car detailers, the CPAs, the dry cleaning, the massage people, the chiropractic people. We have a gym tutors down the hall. I make it so people don't have to leave. We bring in food. We feed you dinner. If you're going to put your heart and soul, your blood, sweat, and tears into this opportunity and be a part of this badass culture, I'm going to invest in you. I'm going to bet on you. I love that. I always say uh, the quality of your life always come down to the level of your leadership. That's it. And so the quality of your life today is because of the level of your leadership. And leadership isn't a position. It's a skill of influence. And you Absolutely. influence these people to believe in themselves more and to understand that they're alive in a very special time. Absolutely. And... It's really a privilege, as you know, to be able to develop other human beings. Oh, yeah. And I have a very rigorous leaders and training program that we've put in place to get candidates that are agents ready for their next level. And they have to go through shadowing. They have to go through actually acting as if and being a leader. They have to follow different t- criteria. They have to write me a- a overall uh, essay and synopsis about why they should do it. And they have to show it with their performance. And I really have to make sure they're ready to take the responsibility and the privilege to lead other people. Mm-hmm. So my passion is de- leading people and leadership development. And that's, that's really what it is. Because when you have more pillars, when you have more legs in your business, you can really scale. Yes, we've got the standard operating procedures in place. Yes, we have the key performance indicators. But at the end of the day, people want to earn a significant income, which we have that. That's, that's the simple part of this. Yeah, let's talk about your culture. The recognition is huge. And the culture yeah, and the, and culture, the recognition. Like the, way that, the way that you recognize, I've seen the way you recognize people, people but want, your culture. Man. Because that's, so, so your company, yes. it's in Florida. Yes, it's in Tampa, right? Florida. We okay. help people nationwide with their coverage. So yes. that's our home base, but we help people everywhere. Yep, and most of your team, some of them live in Florida and some of them work virtually. You can be virtual. You can be virtual. Okay. The, the, so you can be virtual anywhere the in the office United States. environment is, is amazing. very so you attractive. Want to go. And people come down. People move from different states. They come down to train. Then they go back to California where they live. Okay, but they don't want to leave. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Once you see it, you can't unsee it. You you can't because people want to be a part of a community and environment. And it's very high energy. It's very family oriented. And right with my athletic background, we're really running it like a team. Mm -hmm. And the recognition piece is huge. People, even adults, man, they want to be recognized for their performance. Mm -hmm. Trophies, incentives. We do winner's dinners once a month. We take people out to the fine dining restaurants, wine them and dine them, really make them feel special Mm -hmm. for the great work they've done. Mm -hmm. We do yacht days once a quarter. We get a DJ, we get a bartender, we go out, we get to know each other a little bit better. We take the suits off. You know, we're, we're able to actually connect there more. Mm-hmm. We do company trips once a year. You know, we just took 500 agents across a couple different offices down to Playa del Carmen, Mexico. We rented an entire secret resort for a week. Mm-hmm. All you can eat and drink. I mean, so we work our tails off, but we really give back to the sales force as well. And that so culture much. of giving and serving and then being able to have – Yes, the income, but the impact, man. What is it about? Mm-hmm. Who, who, do you, who are you doing this for, man? Who are you working so hard for? You're trying to retire your parents? You're trying to put your kids in a private school and pave a life for them that maybe you never once had? What about giving back to your congregation? What about giving back to your community? Mm-hmm. I like that. We, we gave back over $300,000 to local charities in Tampa Bay. We will do over half a million dollars this year. We're philanthropic as well. We're earning a lot, and we're paying that forward. You know, and past the impact of the clients, of our families that we're shaping a better life for, of our communities, the blueprint we've created is also about freedom. Really, freedom and fulfillment, I believe, is what life is about. It's not just financial gain. It's not just influence. It's how can we be free? Freedom of time. It's the most valuable commodity we got. Mm -hmm. I believe the most valuable thing we can do with our time, Andy, is invest it into the right people, people we believe in. 
freedom to travel, freedom to write your own story, freedom to live your life on your own terms. And, and these are the ideals and the fundamentals that we believe on Maxed Out. And anyone that comes in, we help instill these beliefs and ideals in them. And some people come in making half a million dollars, man. I got kids that didn't graduate ninth grade that now make hundreds of thousands of dollars. I also have physicians that left practicing medicine, making half a million a year to come join us because they make more money mm -hmm. and they like the culture better. Yeah. So it's an extremely equal opportunity. The beauty of it is you get exactly out of it what you put into it. That's right. Who tends to do the best when you guys bring these new teammates on, mm -hmm. these new members on, right? Mm -hmm. um, obviously talking to everybody right now, if this is an opportunity that you're like, dude, I want to know more information about this, right? I I'm interested. All you got to do is text the number below. Just text your email address. That's it. That's it. They'll literally just send over the information. You can review it. And then if you decide you want to jump on a call with them, their team, and be like, dude, I want to be a part of this thing. Let's roll. You can work virtually anywhere around the world, or you can actually go down there and crush it and kill them, you know, kill it with them, right? Absolutely. We're looking to help people personally develop, to empower people, to develop more leaders, even if you're successful in a current field right now, but you're looking for more, more opportunities for growth more opportunities to help and serve, to level up. We have a great opportunity for those people or people that aren't even earning their first six figures yet, right? So it, it's no matter what position you're in, Andy, there's a home for you on Maxed Out if you have the right mindset, if you are coachable, yeah, let's talk if about you want to learn. Qualities. Yeah. You, you, like these, this ninth grade dropout yeah. that comes on, you know, why did he make it, right? Like why does... Why does he make a half Hunger. a million now? Okay, Hunger. Cool. So let's talk about that. Hunger. Like people who just because they've been through more. more bullshit in their life, right? That they can take a couple no's on the phone, man. They're reaching out to warm leads that I provide for them. Mm -hmm. I'm spending forty thousand dollars a week on the leads. You're calling people that are interested in hearing about the products that you're offering. You got to work through a couple no's. Great. No stands for next opportunity. If that's the mindset you have, right, and you're continuing to have an abundant growth mindset, mm -hmm. what we do is so simple, man. We give you the products, we give you the scripts, we give you the resources. You're learning from self-made multimillionaires that people would be paying tens, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars for personal coaching from. But they get it for free just because they're stepping into this environment. But we don't just let everybody in, man. You know, we, there's a number of different ways we bring people in to educate them about the opportunity, but we're very selective. I, I want to make sure people are in a position in their life from a monetary standpoint that they're, I mean, they're not just dead broke trying to make a paycheck. This isn't for them. No way. This is for people that want to make a serious income, multiple six figures in their first year. Mm -hmm. This is for you, people you that big, have the time. Big thinkers. Big thinkers, man. You got to think bigger. Listen, when I came in, if you told me even my first or second year, I would have earned that any time in my life, I wouldn't have believed you. And that was my problem mm -hmm. because I had that limited mindset because I was around a scarcity environment. I respect the hospitality industry, but mm -hmm. there's a lot of scarcity for the people that work in that industry. Mm -hmm. And when you get in a different room, you change your whole paradigm. Mm -hmm. It's the people you're around. They help me think bigger. They help me believe. And these belief systems that we build is, is really what I want the world to know about because you can change your life. You just have to decide. You have to believe. You have to take massive action. You have to get around the right people. You can learn the skills. You just have to put in the work. There's no shortcuts. You talk about this, man. It's so true. Yeah, and you said product of your environment. When you're around the right people that are doing the right That's things it. with the right disciplines, with the right routines, you just become that. You I do. mean, it's really hard for you to go be around great people and not be great. Right. Especially when you're around a group of great people. That's it. The mindset is contagious. Mm -hmm. The energy is contagious. Yeah, winning's contagious. And energy is so powerful. Mm -hmm. And sometimes people come in, they've had success or they've been broken or whatever it is. We've all had our peaks and valleys in life. We've all had that crash moment. Mm -hmm. There's something we've gone through. Mm -hmm. I've had a few myself. Is it okay if I share? Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. I tell my shit all the time, dude. Listen, I think the more vulnerable you can become, the more people can relate That's and it. say, hey, you know what? That dude isn't better than me. And, you know, like, I can do that too. Absolutely. Yeah, so I, like, I think the dirt's more important than telling the success. Hey, what's going on, y'all? I know you're getting a ton of value watching this video right now. 
But Andy Elliott wanted me to tell you, listen, I'm the number one wholesaling coach in the world. In October 25th and 26th, right around the corner, Andy Elliott and I are hosting in my brand new office in Scottsdale, Arizona, over 9,000 square feet. We're gonna show you exactly how to build a seven-figure wholesale operation in 12 months or less. Listen, Andy endorses the fact that we know what we're doing. So what we wanna do is bring you here to Scottsdale, show you how to find the leads, talk to the leads, and get the big, fat, juicy spreads that I know you all wanna get paid. We're talking 20, 30, 40, $50,000 deals. So what I want you to do is text the number below and Andy Elliott and I will be waiting for you October 25th and 26th here in Scottsdale, Arizona. Let's finally get paid what you're worth. And now back to the video. Agreed. And being a competitive athlete, I loved sports more than anything. I was a safety. I was in high school. I came up and number one running back in the state. I came up and I cracked him, laid my shoulder into him in third degree separation of my shoulder out for the year, not able to compete, not able to be with my teammates. And I went through some depression, you know, even at a young age, you know, there's some substances and things around. And I, I was not in a good place mentally because mm -hmm. I was away from what I cared about so much that I was so passionate about. You got away from the team. And now I got away from the team, man. Mm -hmm. And that was the first thing that I had to fight through. And because my teammates and people in my family and my sphere of influence cared about me, I fought through the physical therapy and I got back on the field and I overcame that. And, mm -hmm. you know, then I'm building back as an athlete into college and getting into hospitality as I got down in, into Tampa. Fast money, a lot of pleasures, mm -hmm. a lot of distractions, women, alcohol. And I had some problems with alcohol. And I ask you, is there anyone that you know in your life, or possibly even yourself, that has ever suffered from any issues with drugs or alcohol? Mm -hmm. It's a lot of people. A lot. And most of the world. I got to the point where, listen, if I don't make a change, I'm gonna end up in a place I don't wanna be or hurt people that I care about. Mm -hmm. And as of July, 2024, this month, I haven't had a sip of alcohol in 10 years. Oh, good. That's super cool, man. Thank you, brother. And It's just a decision. It's just a decision. And you it's know what's happened decision. in my life? My fitness has been better. My mental health has been better. My earnings have been better. The influence I've had and the ability to help people around me has been better. The family life's been everything, man. Mm -hmm. It's just a conscious decision to change the party environment. Nothing wrong with those people, but... Look at the five people you surround yourself with. That's going to be your income. That's going to be your lifestyle. You've heard it a hundred times. Mm -hmm. Change your environment, right? So got out of drinking, even though I was in the hospitality industry. And then, and then yeah, it was... You could, you, you could serve it. It just didn't own you anymore. Yeah. Dude, I could sit there and serve it all day. And I just decided, this yeah. isn't for me. Yeah, you changed, you changed who you were. Right. Yeah. Right. I love that. And then very pivotal moment, too, coming out of a 10-year relationship, you know, and four years married, I went through a divorce. And, you know, that that hurts. And it's always a two-way street, but mentally, physically, financially, spiritually, emotionally, every single way. Drains everybody. It, it does. And alignment can change over time. And, you know, I had to fight through that pain as well and keep going because I had a mission and I had a purpose. And I am fortunate that during that time, I had agents that I had to show up and serve. I had to put my armor on every day, even if I cried at night, to be able to show up and, and help people change their lives because I had a mission and I had a passion mm -hmm. and a purpose. And more so about what you do or how you do it, it's why you do it. Mm -hmm. It's why you do it. And the why for me, man, is you talk about changing your bloodline. Mm -hmm. I come from a great family. I, I love my parents. They've been married 40 years. They've, they've shaped great ideals in my life. But I want to have a legacy for future generations mm -hmm. in, in my bloodline. And I want to impact the world, man, and develop leaders mm -hmm. that do the same. Yep. And when you have a strong why, you can fight through the adversity, brother. You yeah, can keep right. going even when the shit's hard, man. Yeah, it's, it, dude, it's cool to be the comeback kid. It's cool to be the kid that comes back and, you know, everybody thought you weren't going to make it or everybody counted you out or, 
maybe you low, laid low for a while and, you know, you were kind of hidden. And that leads me to something I want to ask you about that I think is aligned with these type of why we do thing questions mm -hmm. is accountability. Mm -hmm. Because we have to have our own accountability. We have to keep a, a level of accountability with our, our people and our organizations, mm -hmm. of course. And I'd love to hear from you how you bring accountability to yourself, to your team, in everything you do. And I'd like to share as well how something that I've implemented with my team and my leaders and my people in my life to talk about accountability and how it's been very effective. Yeah, so number one, just like having the privilege to be an example for someone else is right. the greatest privilege on, on planet Earth. You may not think so or not, but everybody has someone looking up to them. Yeah, hell yeah. Okay, hell yeah. and most people don't think they do. I Look, <laughs> I, I see people all the time and they don't think that anybody's really watching them. And I'm telling you, someone's watching you, and you, you're really letting them down right. when you don't play your best. Right. So um, we're talking about leadership, right? right? So accountability to me, just to myself, right? Like, I'm going to go into other people first, but me, I can't have double standards as a leader. Of course. So so there's three steps to leadership. Self, step one is self-leadership. Step two is l leading others. And step three is building leaders to build more leaders. And Love so, that. And so step one is like, dude, like, listen – like I have to look in the mirror, own my shit, and then I literally have to change me before I can ask anyone else to change. I mean, I couldn't, I wouldn't have this coaching company today had I not looked in the mirror and got my shit together, okay? Like right. it wouldn't have happened. And there was a time that I couldn't have been in charge of anybody, honestly, because I wasn't doing a very good job of leading myself. And so I looked in the mirror, I, d I made, I said, okay, what does human excellence look like? Wow. And then I wrote down, you know, what that looked like. You know, I need to be a walking billboard. Right. I need to walk around and I need to. You definitely are. Well, but no, but like, I, but I wasn't though at this time. And I was like, you know, I need to look like I take care of myself. How can I ask anyone else to trust me if I don't look like I even trust myself? Right. You know, I look at people, dude, the eyes of the window to the soul. I can tell that a lot of people, it's like, I always say, like, would you stay in a relationship with somebody that constantly lied to you? Hell no. Okay, cool. <laughs> Hell That's no. why people don't like themselves. They say, I'm going to wake up at 5 a.m. to go to the gym, and they don't. They say they're going to do this. They say they're going to do that, and they don't do any of those things. So, number one, they don't really trust themselves. Number two, they don't even really like themselves because they don't want to stay in a relationship with themselves because they don't even like themselves. I realized I was looking in the mirror, and I wasn't proud of me. I didn't like me. So, honestly, uh, my routine sucked. My habits sucked. My mindset sucked, honestly, because I wasn't taking responsibility for – um, my greatest responsibility is to be in control of my own thoughts, to be in control of me. And if I can take care of me, I can take care of anyone else. I think God will allow me to have a herd to lead if I can lead myself. So right. um, anyways, step one, accountability is this self-leadership, is self, like, taking care of yourself. So um, I must do, I can't give you what I don't have. I can't ask you to become something I'm not. Um, I, I need to become, okay? Agreed. So so I so so I did. So step one is when I started my company when I was 39, for two years I didn't have one person on my team. It was me and my wife. Wow. I went dark. I literally needed to build me. Honestly, I didn't have the right to tell anyone else or have anyone else even believe that they could do something else until I recreated and did what I needed to do. Once that happened, I looked in the mirror and I was like, dude, if I can do it. Everyone can freaking do it. That's right. And now, what is sales? The transfer of belief. Mm -hmm. I'm the most belief son of a bitch on planet Earth. And my responsibility, my accountability was through the roof. And then I was like, you know, you talked about being vulnerable and telling the story. I love going around telling people, dude, like, hey, man, you have no idea who I used to be. Check this out. I was this way. I was that way. I was like this. I was this. But look at me now. Okay? And if I can do it, you can freaking do it. And dude, all of a sudden, I start waking people up. And then other people are like, oh, my God. Yeah, you did do that. I did watch you change. You know what? Like, I, I want, can do it, too. Yeah, like, I, I want you to show me the way. So then I started showing Hell them yeah. the way. Hell yeah. And I think if you can be the example for someone else. Uh, um, I say this two words, living proof. You're living proof that someone can become a, a bartender and earn seven figures. You're living proof. Okay? Like, I don't – look, people – People need to see things with their eyes. If you're sleeping and it's the middle of the night and at 2 a.m., you hear that in the kitchen. Do you get up and go see what it is? Yeah. Why? Because you want to see it. Yeah. Yeah. You need, I, can't, I can't say, 
I don't think it was anything. I must be dreaming. I'm like, dude, I need to see what's in my kitchen. Absolutely. I need to see, no, I need to see here. My best thing in my world is to see. So now I can see you. I know that if I go join you, I can do what you're doing because you did it. Not because you're telling me that someone else did it. I've watched you do it. And I like that. And so people want to see things with their eyes. If I told you that you could make seven figures, but then I turn around and show you the pay stub, after I showed you the pay stub, you'd be more apt to say, damn, I saw it. Okay, I'm in. So they need to see it, right? So number one, if you want anyone to believe in you and you want other people to be respon- to, to be held accountable, to be responsible, you must be the example and they must see that what you're asking them to do or what you expect for them to do, they must see you do it yourself. Absolutely. And then if you can do it, then you'll lead them to do it because they want to do what you did. And then once they become it, they're so fascinated about the change, how resilient human beings are, how people can alter their identities and right. reprogram. Right. Then all of a sudden they want to go do it to someone else. And dude, remember I said leadership isn't a position, it's a skill of influence. Leaders aren't people that say, well, if I take that guy and make him more money, how much do I get paid? No. They're people that go do Listen, I am a leader. Let me explain. I lead because I'm a leader. Without money, I am still a leader. I will always be a leader, broke or rich. I am a leader. I will lead myself and lead others and build more leaders until I die. And when you decide to do that, I don't really think you you think about responsibility and accountability anymore. Because it's just within you. you it's just, just ingrained in you. you it's just in your become. DNA. Yeah. It's like you just become. And I'm, there's going to be bad days. The devil's going to come after you. You know, the devil always attacks, you know, what's valuable, right? He's going to come after you. But you know what? Dude, when you become this, you know, you can beat anything because you're the comeback kid. That's right. And, you know, like, and, and you understand you know, that like you beat that and you can beat this. So anyways, but so, so as a leader, um, any leader watching this, you, me, all of, of us, um, no double standards. Right. Right. Okay. Um, just be what you want them to be. And by the way, listen, man, create a circle of safety around people that you love and fucking protect them with all your heart. And most importantly, listen, um, you need to be direct with your people, right. And tell them the truth but also you need to wear your heart on your sleeve the whole time. Fact. So they never forget like how much you love them. But then also like love don't lie. So like when you see someone that's fallen off, if you really care about them, you help guide and lead them. You definitely lead in a place of love, not fear. Hey guys, sorry for interrupting the video. As you're listening to my man Max here with Maxed Out, you're hearing about this opportunity to make a lot of money. If that's you that wants to make a lot of money and you're a fire-breathing dragon and you've been waiting on your way out and for your opportunity, this is it. You guys see this number below? All you got to do is send a text message and send your email address. That's it. Type your email address right, okay? All you got to do is send your email address and it'll send you information about this badass opportunity. That's it. So let's get back to the video. Let's kill it. Yeah. And never ask someone to do something you wouldn't do yourself or haven't done yourself. And... At the end of the day, even the opportunity we're talking about here on Maxed Out, I'm not that special. I'm not special. The opportunity, the platform we've created is that special. But you know why you're kicking ass? Because you don't think you're that special. Listen, there's a difference between confidence and then understanding that, like, you're not a prima donna. Right. You're not entitled little baby. Absolutely okay? not. You're, you're like, dude, everything can be taken away from me today. So you know what? I'm not that special, okay? So if I can do it, you can do it. I'm going to work for this, and I'm going to grind, and I'm going to push every day because I ain't that special. Hey, I'm not the most gifted guy in the room. I'm not the most talented guy, and I've never had any luck, okay? I work my ass off to get what I want, and I stay around the right people, and I make good decisions, and I've decided to become a leader. That's my identity. I'm a leader. I'm not a manager. I'm a leader, I don't need a position. And so I want to tell you, like, when you said you're not that special, like, that's why you're kicking ass. Because most people, when they start making money, like you're doing, and then they start getting the suit Ego, and the tie man. and the shit, yeah. It'll fucking kill it. Dude, that's, the pride comes before the fall. And I love that about you. So you're humble, but you're confident. You're very aware of what can go wrong, but you're also very aware of all the things that are right in your life right now. Yes, sir. And then, you know, you need a team and, you know, in order to impact a lot of people, you need a lot of people. 
And so you're going to do your part and you're going to build more people that are just like you. And then that thing's just going to stream through the world. We have a movement that's going on right now. I mm -hmm. want to spread the word and create awareness about this movement and how many lives can be changed if they make a conscious decision that they want more for themselves. And it has to go back to the root, Andy, of why we're doing it in the first place. When I've talked to you about, asked about expectations, when I have a discussion with a person, a recruit, a candidate that's coming in to join us, <clears throat> I don't give a shit about your background, man. You did sales, you made no, all this money. I don't, I don't care, care, man. Yeah, yes. Are you coachable? Are, are you ethical? Are you hungry? And let's go to this. I'm gonna give you the blueprint, okay? But here's the expectations of the hours you need to invest to put into this, mm -hmm. the actions you need to take, the calls you need to take, the income you need to put into this. This is what it takes. Yeah, the okay? non-negotiables. These are the non-negotiables. Now, do I have your permission, Andy, to hold you accountable to these things? But first, I ask, why are we doing this? If you have all the financial freedom in the world, what is it that you want to do with it? Past, I want a nice house and a nice car, and those things are nice too. You can have a couple material things too. But what about the impact you want to make, man? What about the people you care about? Whether they're alive or it's a future generation you're trying to pave the way for. What is it you're really doing this for? Some young people, they don't necessarily know yet. And I identify that in the beginning. I say, you're going to shape your vision of what you want in your life and the mission that you're on as you progress with us here. Mm -hmm. Those people that do know what it is, I say, listen, my mission, my goal is to help you achieve these things that you care about in this world. Mm -hmm. Do I have your permission to hold you accountable to the hours, the actions, and the investments we discussed so I can help you achieve these goals? And that hits differently. So when they're running late in the morning or they're making excuses or their mindset's low or their energy's scarce, it goes back to, listen, you told me you wanted me to hold your ass accountable mm -hmm. so you can retire your mother because she's 68 years old and she's still working. You want that to end. You want to put her in a nice living space. You want to be able to provide maybe a life you never had. Then let's get back to work. Let's be intentional with our actions and our time. Mm -hmm. And really just have this bulletproof mindset. And I learned this recently, and it stuck with me. First 100K you're going to make, bulletproof mindset. From a mindset perspective. First million dollars, mastering sales. Communication, the art of persuasion, how to talk with people, how to actively listen, how to be a solution to people. Identify their pain points and really provide value to people. And that first 10 million, which I'm coming up on, Leveraging relationships, man, strategic partnerships, getting in the right room with the right people, growing and elevating and continuing to have that forever a student mentality. Mm -hmm. I'm yeah. out here to grow and learn, man. There's so many more levels out there in this world. You're kicking ass over $100 million. You know there's more levels, right? Yeah, so I, we're I, living in an unlimited country. Unlimited, unlimited potential out here. We're going to do $150 million on maxed out in sales this year. That's over $3 million a week. This is not a small operation. Mm -hmm. And there's no reason next year we can't double that. And then on to half a billion in 2026. Why not? Yeah, and you're just getting warmed up. And I, and just I, getting warmed and up. And I think that's where it's like, listen, let's, let me ask everybody, okay? Um, everyone right now that's watching this, do you guys want to work for a company, for an organization, for a leader? that you're actually recognized, that people actually know your name, they know your family's name, they care about your well-being. Yes. They want part. you to, to, to win in all areas, not be one-dimensional, not just make a check, and then everything else sucks, but to be a total all-around winner and get it all. Well, of course, every single one of you do. But how many of you have that right now? If you have all that right now, let me ask you another question. Are you in a, you know, a, a seven-figure earning opportunity company? I mean, if you're not, again, you can have it all, Okay. He said to make the 10 million plus, you got to have relationships. I'm introducing you guys right now to Max. This is your time to make a relationship with him. This is your time to change your family's legacy. This is your time to break the bloodline. This is time to break generational curses. This is a time to reprogram yourself, become the best version of yourself. This is the time. Okay. So everybody watching this right now, Max, I just want to I know we've been on here for a while, and me and you can run for like 19 hours, <laughs> right? So it's like fucking Love tomorrow, it, and it, the moon <laughs> comes out, and we're still howling. Right. Um, I want everybody to know that if you want more of this man, okay, if you want more of this opportunity that he's talking about, all I want you to do is text the number below. That's it. And just text your email address. It's very simple. Make sure you spell it right, or else it doesn't matter. 
And then he'll send over some information on like what they're doing, how you can join, and he'll be happy to jump on a call with you. Okay. Um, I have some guys that I've brought over to his company yes. and they're making a lot of money. They're really happy. They love the culture. Um, they love it. Okay. So like, if that's what you're looking for, like now I'm inviting you. Now I'm telling you about something that you didn't know about. And I'm telling you about a hidden secret. There's a lot of really cool shit in this world. Okay. Problem is, is that there's a lot of noise and sometimes it's hard to find what we're looking for. So when I have guys like Max that I can share with you, I take the time to make these podcasts so that I can share this amazing man building this amazing business. And then you can go have your big future with him. Okay. He needs you. You need him. You guys can go build this together. Okay. So Max, I want to say thank you. I love thank you. Hey, you Andy. What, what, what is your social media? By the way, social media, Instagram is underscore maxed out. So underscore M A X E D dot O U T. And you can find me there obviously on Facebook and YouTube, but the main aspect that we're doing to building this through a number of different channels of LinkedIn, Indeed, and Instagram, that's really the platform. Okay. So definitely let's connect on IG. Um, text that number, yeah, your text email number address. And they'll, they'll if you're looking to change your life, if you're really looking to step into your true power, take massive action, be part of a badass opportunity where you are valued, where you are recognized, where you can make a multiple six-figure income your first year even up to second year is your second year, and make passive residual income where you're earning in your sleep, helping a lot of families, changing a lot of people's lives around you with tons of opportunity for growth into leadership. I have an opportunity for you, and I want to partner with you. You don't work for me. I'm here to serve you, and so are all of our leaders. So if you want to partner, if you want to take massive action and change your life and level up, the time is now. Who's ready to live maxed out? Let's go. Guys, I love it. You met him, man. He's as real as they get. So, guys, this is your opportunity. If you've been looking for your way out, if you've been looking for something special with a guy like this, you know, to kick some ass and change your life, or maybe you're a badass just like him, and you're like, man, I've been looking for a running mate. Here's your opportunity, okay? I love you guys. Make sure that you guys text the number below, okay? Shoot your email. He'll send you all the information. Guys, let's kill it. Have a blessed day. See you in the next video. Hey guys, I just wanna tell you the true one percenters, you made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are, set your notifications, and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.